Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of our 2022 Toyota RAV4 GX. A little bit about us here at Pacific Toyota and Lexus of Cairns, standing at one of two of our pre-owned vehicle yards where we go through 220 vehicles a month, making us Toyota's largest pre-owned vehicle department in Queensland. Now we've got a very own showroom where we actually photograph each and every vehicle as they come through onto the yard. Not only that, we've got parts and services out the back of the brand new part of Toyota and Lexus, and even our second pre-owned vehicle yard uh, down at the edge of the city there. Throughout the video though, go around the RAV4 here in complete detail, pointing out any blemishes that may appear at first point of sale, or even as we can see straight off the bat, great reflection off that pearlescent paint. Just checking out the rims, making sure there's no scratching or gutter rash. Also checking we've got plenty of tire tread. Now it looks like they've got new tires on there, which is great to see. It is part of that roadworthy, uh, which is included in the driveway price here in Queensland. Down around that front end, making sure she's nice and tidy. No big knocks or damages. Nice and clean around that front end, but we want to make it sure we keep an eye out for any little imperfections that may be on the vehicle as well. Uh, little things like a couple of stone chips just here on the bonnet. Yeah, we can get them brush touched if need be. But as we have a look across, there is a couple, but very small and minor. Like I said, we're getting great reflection, no dings or dents either. Down that passenger side, nice straight bodywork. We'll cover each panel as we go. Nice and tidy, that passenger front. Again, scratch free. And another new tire in there as well. Beautiful. The windscreen, just making sure there's no chips or cracks. Again, part of that roadworthy. As we make our way down, nice straight bodywork. No dings or dents. With that blind spot mitigation. It's one of the many safety features in these new vehicles. Beautiful, that passenger side, excellent condition. No dings or dents. That passenger rear, again scratch free and another new tire. So great to see that consistency as we're making our way around the vehicle. Around the back end, you've got the proximity sensors. That built-in reverse camera, we'll see in action a little bit later on. But as you can see on that rear bar, again, no knocks or damages. Just keep an eye out for any little markings or imperfections just up top here. We do like to be transparent and point these things out where we can. While we're back here, we'll have a look through the boot. So you've got the parcel shelf. No scratching or damages to the carpet or the plastics making sure we've got our jack tools and spare wheel in there as well. Fall down that driver's side. Yeah, and just keep an eye out, a little chip just there as well. Can get touched up just like the others on the bonnet. But that fourth and final wheel, just like the others, in excellent condition with plenty of tread. Couple little markings down the driver's side here. Like I said, we do like to be transparent, point out these imperfections where we can. Overall, still very clean and tidy. Obviously, it is a pre owned vehicle at the end of the day. A couple of these little markings are to be expected. Beautiful driver's side of the windscreen. Again, just make sure there's no big chips or cracks as part of that roadworthy. The roof, nice and tidy, great reflection off that paint as well. No dings, dents or hail damage. Through the interior though, make sure it's just as well looked after. No wear and tear, scratching or scuff marks on the door cart. The upholstery in immaculate condition, looks to be well looked after. You got the carpet floor mats, not trying to hide anything. Again, just well looked after with those rear air con vents and a couple of connections for charging ports just down there as well nowadays. Driver's door, obviously the most commonly used. Any wear and tear, it is likely to show up on this one first. As we can see, also in great condition. Carpet floor mats up front as well. And that driver's seat's also been well looked after. But what we'll do, we'll jump in, we'll start it up for you. We do have the two keys. The push button on the left-hand side there. 
And on the driver's door, obviously for your windows, for your locking, your side mirrors. The radio is obviously working, which is good. Turn that one down for you. You've got your electric folding side mirrors there as well. On the steering wheel, you've got to do with obviously the head unit skips and volumes on the bottom. On the right hand side up top to do with your cruise control, your adaptive cruise, land departure, left hand side to do with the little display screen up above here. So as we can see on the dis display screen there, let's get on the other side of the steering wheel. It's done 77,000. There we go, 552. It's obviously a good time of day to try and get that reflection. But you can have a bit of a flick through, set that up as you please, or your digital speedo and everything like that as well. Knowing that, you've got your auto lights and your auto wipers. Nice large touchscreen display, obviously make sure the touchscreen's working, not just the head unit. It's also where that reverse camera shows up out the back. Now, great vision right at the rear bar. You see exactly what you're backing into and those proximity sensors obviously working as well. The air conditioning controls with your auto stop start there, traction control, another USB and 12 volt connections. Like most, an automatic with that electric park brake that's also automatic nowadays as well. Up front though, nice and clean and tidy like the rest of the vehicle's been. No fading, cracking or stickiness on the dash. We'll have a look in here, making sure we've got the books and the service history, the main one people do want to know about. We'll have a bit of a flick through. So, service at 15,000, done again at 30,000, both are Toyotas, 45,000 at a Toyota. 60,000 at Toyota and 76,000 Ks. So, all up to date with the service history, full Toyota service history as well. And your next one's not due till 90,000 kilometers or the 7th, 2025. So, great to see perfect service history all up to date. We'll have a look underneath the bonnet while she's running, obviously, to make sure those services have paid off though. We have a look underneath, making sure she's nice and clean and tidy. No rust or red dust. And as we listen to it run, no major knocks, rattles or squeals, except motor ticking over nicely. But that was our virtual tour, our 2022 Toyota RAV4 GX. Hope you enjoyed and look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.